All right. So uh, my name is Bill Lund. I'm on the committee for the 43rd National Narrow Gauge Convention, and we're we're really excited about this year's convention, and we want to welcome everyone to uh, come aboard and join us with this uh, this convention um, tonight. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit uh, about the Hoopa app and uh, what that brings to you uh, for the convention. What what does that mean for you? And then I'm going to have a short little video here uh, from Chris Lane, who will kind of explain the ins and outs of how to use it. But uh, but it's just a tool that will allow you to interact with the other attendees. And it'll it's a way to also interact with the convention. So it's a way of sharing ideas, asking questions, uh, a way to meet up with some of your friends, uh, people that you haven't seen in a while. We'll give you a chance to meet with them. And of course, there'll be the the uh, beer thirty uh, bar hour that can be planned and arranged. So, and I'm sure that'll be used for that as well. But it's really to maximize your experience with the convention. And um, just so you know, about a third of the people who have signed up have uh, have actually downloaded the app. And so, so we're getting good participation. But this is an invitation to you to come come ahead and join in and and be a part of what's going on in the convention right here, right now, today. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen, uh, my screen, and um, I'm going to, going to go ahead and- Yeah, it's got those extra two buttons, Bill. Yeah, uh, oh, hold on. Screen. Do you guys see my screen? We see your screen, yes. Okay, cool. So this is the website on the Narrow Gauge Convention's uh, website. And uh, if you come down to the bottom here, you'll see there's two set places. There's uh, all videos. But right down here, uh, it says uh, uh, using the Whova app in high resolution. Just uh, go ahead and click play. And here we go. Welcome. 43rd National Narrow Gauge Convention in Denver, Colorado. Today, we'd like to go over our Whova app and how it can be used during the convention. You can find the Whova app on our website and it is available for Android or iPhone, Apple devices. And you can download right here. Once loaded, tap on the home. We're not, we're not seeing the video because we're seeing your browser overview shared your browser not your brain. Brain. in the app got it okay you can see our logo and uh, hey hey bill uh, bill can you just make the video full screen with that button at the bottom right on the on the right on the right of the video right right uh, at the bottom right of the video window bottom right of the video yes. where the video is playing that yeah that one click that okay and that should make it full screen should is that full, full screen? screen not yet okay i have it as full screen we are not seeing it as full screen. We're just seeing a tiny window on your browser. Okay, uh, let me, i tell you what, why don't I go, I'll turn my sharing off. Uh, let's see, participant. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so I've stopped sharing. Sorry about the trouble here. So That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's minimize that and this. Okay, do you see it now? Yes, we do. Go, that's great. Uh, just hit play Perfect. and we're off. Yeah. All right, and you see it in full screen? A firm, yes. Okay, cool. Here we go. Let's go for it for real now. Welcome to the 43rd National Narrow Gauge Convention in Denver, Colorado. Today we'd like to go over our Whova app and how it can be used during the convention. You can find the Whova app on our website and it is available for Android or iPhone Apple devices. And you can download right here. Once loaded, tap on the home Whova screen and it will take you to this screen and this will give you an overview of all the things that are available in the app. 
you can see our logo and map to the hotel where the convention is being held and you'll note there's quite a number of places to touch. Let's explore the floor map section. Here is the map of our vendor room. You can see it is currently configured. Let's return to the home screen and let's take a look around the hotel and find our clinic rooms. Uh, you'll see a map of all the facilities within the hotel and this will help you navigate along with the maps that we'll provide uh, live in the hotel for you. Alright, returning to the home screen once again, we now, let's check our agenda. The agenda shows the timing of all the events that are going to be occurring during the course of the convention. You can see the registration, open layouts, contest room, vendor room, etc. And then you see the clinics are listed. Now let's talk specifically about clinics. If we go slide back up and we go to right here we can search clinics by the clinician so everybody named Jerry there's Jerry Carson's clinic uh, Jerry Day's on K28's and since the K28 sports models has an overview and all the details of the clinic are listed there you can click back and uh, see a little bit more about the clinic you can also let's look for somebody else how about Keith, let's see all the Keiths that are providing. Okay, there we have Keith Pashina giving a clinic on the Gilpin Tram. What other Keiths? We have Keith Glab, Keith Stamper. Let's see, what's Keith has uh, discussed the basics of building his layout. And again, here's the details of the clinic that you can look at and decide if that's a clinic you want to attend and you can also take notes in this application during the clinic. So let's see, Keith puts on a really good clinic. And I can't spell because I've got big fingers and a little phone, so let's fix that. Now, Keith puts on a really good clinic because I spelled his name wrong too. And the notes can be stored there. So let's head back and look through all the other. Keith Hayes has a clinic. You can search by last name, first name, uh, name of the clinic, what have you. Okay, heading back to the main page on the agenda. Let's look at layouts and you see where it says 19 submissions. Let's uh, click on that and this takes us to all the layouts. Now we'll actually have 40 uh, approximately layouts. Uh, we're loading them every day along with the photos. But as you can see, you can go to a person's layout, get some overview, um, a detailed description of the layout along with photos. And this will really help you plan your layout tours. Okay, let's go back. Let's look at another layout. Let's drop down. Let's click on Mike's. All right, there's Mike Trent. Um, got an overview, a little bit of description. We still haven't added the photos to this particular one, but we're working on that as we go. And you can also see Add to My Agenda. So if you want to make sure that you see his layout, you can set a time and get a reminder for yourself to uh, head up to this layout. It says added to my agenda one attending me um, if you go back we can look at uh, other like let's say contest room I want to make sure that I hit the contest room when it opens so let's add that to my agenda okay now it's added now let's look at my agenda specifically see it shows Mike Trent's layout shows the contest room and I also have the ability to add my own activity so let's Let's go up to the Colorado Railroad Museum.
Obviously, you can set a specific day, a specific time. I don't know that we want to go at 2.30 in the morning. I don't think they're open. Let's change that to uh, 2 p.m. And we'll save it. And, of course, that's up at Golden. All right. So here's another tab. This is the Community tab. And it shows announcements that we've made. Uh, ask the organizers anything. If you have a question between now and the convention or during the convention, we'll be monitoring that. Uh, here's for meetups, uh, if we want to meet at the bar. And uh, you see all the categories that we have here. First timers, break the ice, let's connect, uh, speaker section, local recommendations for food uh, or things like that. Let's look, how about airport ride sharing? You know, that's going to be important to some people. Um, so you can use that tab. Uh, we'll also set up a tab for uh, Colorado Railroad Museum tours for people who want to carpool up there. So this will be a good way for people to connect and share rides. And commuting around Denver, uh, especially with folks that don't have their own vehicles, or uh, it's just a good way to get around. Um, there's also a message section. Um, there are so many things in Whova. This is just a brief overview of everything that's in the app. We uh, urge you to get the app, get around, explore a little bit. It does have a guide built into it, which will help you navigate a little bit. Uh, but it's a, basically a pretty simple app. It's pretty easy to use. We urge you to explore it and get to know it because you're going to find a lot of things that you're going to be using during the course of the convention. Uh, if you tap on your picture there, you get this uh, screen. Let me point something up. You see we have the My QR code, which we will be using to check people in and speed that process. Obviously, we are a few months out from the convention, and so some of you may find that uh, there's a few too many notifications, but you have full control of that. If you go into the settings, you can edit your notification settings. You see all the notifications that you're potentially going to get through the Whova app, agenda updates, community updates, etc. Um, and you can turn those on and off as you choose. Like, let's uh, turn off, let's connect. Uh, we are going to strongly suggest that you keep the agenda updates open. Uh, and the organizer announcements open because that's how we're going to get you information on changes of clinics, important things that you need to know about the convention. So uh, if you want to cut down on your notifications, you are free to do that. We are going to suggest that you keep those open. And that's a brief overview of the app. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you in Denver this fall. So anyway, uh, so there you go. Uh, so that's a little bit of an intro to the Whova app. And uh, again, the way you get to that is your registration email that you receive when you register. Just go back to that email and there's links there to download and your, your password and access is uh, gained right there. So, so that's what we hope for and, and that's what I have for you today.